No. Now listen, you can be sorry. But true repentance, I said false repentance is just being sorry. You've got emotion, but you're not turning. True repentance involves being sorry, sorrowful to God and changing. 2 Corinthians 7 verse 2, he says that a godly sorrow worketh repentance. Whenever the prodigal son, when he comes back to the father, he says he realizes in the pig pig pen that he said, Father, I have sinned. I have sinned, he said, before heaven and before thee. And he, he makes a conscious decision. He says, I'll rise. I'll rise, he said. I'm getting out of this dirt and out of this old field. I'll rise and I'll go to my father and say, Father, I have sinned before heaven and before thee. He recognizes that he's a sinner. He already, his mind, he wanted to change in his life. I believe some of you want to change. You ever get so tired of sin? So tired of the cycle? Round and round you go. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it this week. I'm not going to drink. I'm not going to deal with those drugs. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. Before you know it, same cycle. You find yourself under the influence of others and then you find yourself throwing up and so forth. Why did I do it? Why did I do it? Cycle. And, and the prodigal got tired and he found himself at the lowest in his life. But then that's when he looked up and found God. Sometimes we're at the lowest. We had to look up and then we see God. The Holy Spirit working to work and he says the godly sorrow works for repentance. And he was sorrowful. And he said, my father has in his house, he has bread enough to spare and I'll rise and I will go. And he did that very thing. He made a decision and he went. Changed his mind. He surrendered his will and his emotion. He was humble. Humility, very quickly, sometimes godly sorrow works repentance. You say, preacher, I'm not emotional. <laughs> well, every one of us are unique. and You may not be as emotional as someone else. I like a hug if it's in the right way. No, don't I like a hug. I like to cry. I like to laugh. That's the kind of preacher I am. You know that. I will submit humor into the service and so forth. But there's a lot of times, see, all these things, but some other people may not quite be as emotional. They don't like to hug. They like to give you the two-finger shake out here to distance. That's okay. That's okay. But I assure you not everyone is as emotional as the other one, but you have emotions because you're made in the image of, and likeness of Almighty God. Somewhere you experience in pain and hurt and deep down on the inside, but it's a godly sorrow worketh repentance. you got to say, sorry, I'm sorry, God, that I have sinned. And I'm tired of this whole life. And Lord, I want you to forgive me. I want to change in my life. I want to repent of my sins. I believe that Jesus died for me on Calvary's cross and he paid for my sin debt in full. Through his burial, he was buried. The third day he rose and because he lives, I can live also. Lord, would you change me? I can't do it myself. Like the prodigal son came with all those old dirty garments and filth upon him. He came just as he was. So you have to just come just as you are to Jesus. You bring all your guilt and all your filth and everything else and you come just as you are and you repent and ask Jesus. Say, Lord, repent of your sins and you believe in him with all of your heart. Now listen, if you don't repent, what's the warning here in the word of God? Notice on down, he said, I gave her space. God's given you time. God's given you space to repent. And he said, except you repent. He said, what's going to happen? He said, I'm going to cast her into a bed. Have you ever heard this? Now, if you make your bed, you're going to lie in it. This is a bed of iniquity. This is a bed of deception. Remember, the wages of sin is death. There is a way that seemeth right. In Proverbs 16, 25, the way, there is a way that seemeth right unto the man, but the end thereof is death. You're going on a dead-end road. You keep on plowing iniquity, you're going to reap it. And the end, that dead end road leads to death. There's life after this life. And he says, on down, he said, not only her, but he said, behold, he said, I'll cast her into bed and them that commit adultery with her. 
All those that are sitting up under her, all those that follow this woman, they're heading on the wrong road. He said, verse 23, and I will kill her children with death. The wages of sin is death. You've got time right here today. If a singer or somebody would come, you, God's given you space to repent. You know what? You can, the Jesus, you can make a U-turn. God allows U-turns. He's given you an opportunity this morning. You need to repent of that sin. You need to make a change in your life and you're here and never received Jesus Christ. You need to be born again. My friend, you're traveling on the wrong road. You're not walking up the King's Highway. You're walking down the wrong road. If you don't know Jesus this morning, let's please stand. If you don't know Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, why don't you let today be the day that you come to know Him?